How do we stop being lazy? Let's talk about that. What's good? My name is Jadaris or Jay, and I'm here to make your life better today. Laziness. I believe that at some degree, all of us have been lazy at some point in life. But how do we stop being lazy in order to be the best version of ourselves and achieve a great level of success? How do we stop being lazy? It's not like we were born lazy. So why is it now that we, we've developed a paradigm of being lazy? Why aren't we doing the things we know we should be doing? It's not like we're getting any younger. It's not like we're getting any more time. Why are we acting lazy knowing it's not gonna do us any good in life? These are the questions we have to ask ourselves to be more productive in life. It has come to my understanding that there are three reasons why people act lazy. One is that they don't know what to do. Two is that they don't feel like doing anything. And three is that they just have poor work ethic. These are the reasons why we are lazy or we act lazy. You know what, I'm not even finna say that we are lazy because we wasn't born lazy. We just act lazy. For me personally, my laziness came from a lack of direction. I was wasting valuable time. I wasn't organized with my time because I didn't have a list of priorities that I need to tackle down. If you wasted valuable time by acting lazy because you didn't know what to do, because you didn't feel like doing something, that's another thing. A lot of us procrastinate because we don't feel like doing something, because we aren't in the mood of doing something. But in my book, I wrote that our lives are formulated by what we discipline ourselves to do. So if you discipline yourself to do things only when you feel like it, you formulated a life of laziness. And because of this, you're going to attract the unwanted things in life like stress, depression, anxiety, even regret. You're gonna regret that you wasted time because you didn't feel like doing the things that you knew you should have been doing. Let's recap right quick. I said some people act lazy because they don't know what to do, they don't feel like it, or even they just have poor work ethic. We all know that one person who has great potential and never really use it, and maybe it's because they aren't being challenged enough, or maybe it's some other reason. So here's my question again. How do we stop acting lazy? First of all, laziness is a learned behavior. If you wanna unlearn laziness, you gotta do things differently. You gotta do this. You got to change your paradigm. If you wanna stop acting lazy, you gotta change your paradigm. You gotta reprogram yourself. If you don't know what a paradigm is, it's basically a group of habits. Now, if you're acting lazy because you don't know what to do, you need to be writing down a list of priorities. You need to be writing down what you need to be doing every day or every week. And you need to give yourself a deadline to, to accomplish those things. By doing this, you're creating a healthy paradigm because you're inviting productivity. Go ahead, drop a like if this is helping you out. Now, if you're acting lazy because you don't feel like doing anything, you need to reprogram yourself to one, eat better, and two, to be more active. The things we put in our body correlates with how we feel. I want you to think about this. On Thanksgiving Day, after you done ate all the finger licking food, you're gonna feel like trash or you're gonna feel lazy. And that's because you put all the wrong things in your body. Also, if you're sitting down doing nothing all day, of course you're gonna feel lazy. Of course you're gonna feel like you don't wanna do nothing and that's because you're not being active consistently. Again, you got to change your paradigm up. You got to reprogram yourself to eat more healthy and you got to reprogram yourself to be more active. By doing this, you won't feel lazy and you're gonna feel like doing things. Now, if you act like the coming type of laziness and you have poor work ethic, oh, you really gotta change your paradigm up. You gotta reprogram yourself to be more productive each day. Now, if your average day consists of mediocre activities, you need to substitute those activities with activities that are more productive. You need to be doing activities towards your goals and your dreams. You need to be doing things that will help you grow in life. You need to be reading, watching, and listening to anything that's positive that will strengthen your mind. These are the things you should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. 
Now, I'm not telling you to do these things all day throughout the day, but you need to be incorporated into your day-to-day -day activities and minimizing the mediocre activities. By doing this, you have created a paradigm filled with great work ethic because you've learned how to be more productive with your time. Um, we gotta stop acting lazy. It's just a waste of time. Time we can never get back. The quote of the day is from Eric Thomas. He said, if you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. If you find value in this video, please subscribe, like, comment down below if you're going to stop acting lazy, share this video, share my channel, and turn those notifications on so I can continue to provide you with mental wisdom, motivation, and some entertainment.